So in this video we'll investigate whether it's okay to trace your artwork or not. We'll have a look at the advantages of tracing as well as the restrictions it gives the artist and we'll ask, is it something I should or shouldn't be doing with my art? Let's have a look. Is it okay to trace your artwork? I remember back at school when someone was showing a drawing they'd done to their peers and a question popped up. Did you trace that? No, came the abrupt reply. Yes you did, you cheated. And the announcement that he had cheated was paraded around the school. Such was the taboo of tracing an image at school. So skip forward to today, and for many, the taboo of tracing hasn't really died out. Is it okay to trace your artwork? Well, it really depends on the individual artist and their purpose for making the art. For myself, tracing saves a great deal of time especially with commissioned work and portraits when accuracy and speed is paramount. The style I work in also works well for tracing as my artistic nuances, which would emerge had I not traced, are not really part of my desired end result. If you're still in education or are trying to learn to draw, tracing won't really help you very much and you'll be cheating yourself out of learning to develop your observational skills, a critical part of learning to draw. However, there are ways in which you can do both you can trace and learn to draw at the same time. Although this path is easier, it's a much longer path to take to the same destination. The first way would be for you to actively picture the structure of what you're tracing while you're doing it. Similar to my drawing using constructive forms video. There's a link to it here. It's pretty weak in terms of developing your drawing skills quickly, so it's best used in conjunction with redrawing the image again from memory using constructive forms as a guide. This can also be used when copying images. Redraw them again from your head by using the constructive forms and shapes from the initial tracing. In other cases, you may feel like tracing is like using auto-tune with vocals. It takes the art away from art, which doesn't really leave you with much, does it? You may feel it's like the Wizard of Oz hiding behind the curtain, pretending to be something it's not. So the drawing is in disguise as a better drawing from someone else of higher ability. One might assume that tracing for beginners is a great advantage and that by doing so, it would level the playing field when compared to more skilled and experienced artists. But tracing just gives beginners a good, strong start. Rendering the rest of the artwork still requires skills of observation and control of the medium to achieve a good result. So even if the artist uses tracing to draw the outlines of the piece, it does not guarantee a satisfactory result. Of course it doesn't. So whether you choose to trace or not, tracing has distinct advantages and disadvantages that you need to be aware of. When tracing from a photographic reference, there's bound to be parts that don't have a distinct line. They have ambiguous borders. There may be a soft edge, or there may be a lost edge that blends into the background. Do you put it in? Do you put it in as a dotted line? Do you leave it out? Although tracing allows you to place things in more or less the right place, quite often those lines will be covered by the medium or in the drawing process might inadvertently get nudged over by a few millimetres here and there. So as a result, the tracing really can't be relied on to guarantee good results. Skill is still required to render the medium to the desired finished outcome. As mentioned earlier, tracing won't improve your drawing ability. If anything, it can only really help improve motor skills if done carefully. Tracing doesn't allow the artist to express artistic freedom. It's bound to the lines of the photo. Depending on the artist's skill level, and care in tracing, inaccuracies can be exaggerated when tracing in smaller scale. So when you can, try your work on a larger scale. There are also a few advantages to tracing that can be useful for the beginner experience artist alike. Tracing allows the artist to have a good strong start to their work, a good foundation on which to build. It saves an awful lot of time that would have otherwise been spent observing, drawing, checking, erasing, observing again, redrawing, etc. etc. Especially when time is a factor, it's a major advantage. Making observations, correcting errors, not knowing how to correct the errors and getting stuck can be really stressful sometimes. Tracing can eliminate that worry altogether. One of the hardest parts of creating art for some artists is to actually get started at all. Tracing makes starting a project much easier and can start the ball rolling. And as many artists can vouch, once you've started, it's easy to continue. Knowing what lines the artist needs and what lines aren't required to complete the piece can be confusing. Tracing can help the artist learn which sort of lines they'll need for future projects. 
So is it okay to trace your artwork? Well, that depends on you. How you feel, whether you're trying to learn to draw or not. What's your purpose for creating the artwork? Is accuracy a priority for you? Are you capable of being accurate enough without tracing? Do you have time to draw it by eye? Is the drawing out part of your method and process? Is it cheating? Well, only if you're trying to improve. Otherwise, it's just another tool in the box to try and get the artwork done. And if you liked watching this video, please watch some of my other videos. It really helps my channel to grow so I can keep sharing my knowledge with you. Hit the like button and leave a question, comment or request below, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.